We're at Jake's house and we're talking open web floor trusses and designing for insulation. I'm Dave Edwards with Earthbound Homes. Craig Novak with Earthbound Homes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take it away. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know we were going there. I thought you were just doing your intro again. Craig, so when we were brought on on this project, the original design intent was to run eye joists for all the floor joists. And now we see above us that these are actually open web floor trusses. And I'd love to understand why we uh, worked with the engineer and the architect to switch from eye joist to open web floor trusses. And what's the benefits of using open web floor trusses? So being this is a passive house, we and the owner wanted some air systems that aren't typical to it. So larger ducting, less sound. He wants everything very quiet. So we needed some room to run some large ducts, some uh, heating or air exchange ventilation, as well as radiant tubing for the upstairs. So in, in order to do that with an eye joist, there's limited knockouts for, for ducting. So and knockout is a place where we, you can run a pipe without undermining the structure of the eye joist. Correct, they're pre-imprinted on the eye joist okay. and they have a maximum capacity. We are well above that in order to lessen the sound of air movement through the ventilation system. Got it. So therefore, this was a smarter idea to help the heating and ventilation guys put in some larger ducting. So we have a mechanical room and because this is a passive house, as you mentioned, we've separated the exterior from the mechanical room. So the mechanical room is part of the interior envelope. But right next to it, we have a shop. And as we've talked about in other videos, the shop is actually its own separate air, uh, air chamber within the house itself. And so we needed a way of getting all of the ducting from the mechanical room throughout the rest of the 6,000 square foot house without taking up like saw, having soffits across this modern style house, which would have been architecturally disastrous. Um, and we just didn't have the space in the floor system with which to run the ducts in, in the webbing itself. And we couldn't use sawn lumber because those have even smaller holes that we can run. Exactly, and even though we have an ex exceptional height, the owner wanted that, that loftiness for this downstairs area to not seem oppressive. Right. So we have to utilize that joist space to get back to those mechanical areas without going through the air sealed area of the workshop and Got it. A flight simulator. So so, yeah, so this was literally uh, a way for us to build the house effectively without having to modify architectural because a lot of times the architects are not thinking about the mechanics of the air ventilation system and the heating and cooling systems and the space constraints that those require. And so, you know, when we got brought in, we're starting to think about that because we're having conversations with our subcontractors about ways to distribute air and things like that. Yeah, we, we always see that as an afterthought. Any yeah. type of design, it's always, oh, well, you know, we'll find a spot for those. Right. Well, let's, let's be uh, progressive on identifying where these things can go without making a visual impact. And uh, they, they like the slot ventilators. Yeah. So it, almost a commercial style air system that, that it's, it, you don't hear it and it has a, a nice even flow that really can heat a space as large as this Got or it. cool. So um, the, the floor, these uh, open web floor uh, trusses, so there's a lot of them here. Like, now this is a big span. This is probably 30 foot. This is a 30 foot span, but there's like, I mean, literally at some points they're 12 inches on center. That's closer than other floor joists that we would see, maybe not on, on distances as long. So is, is the spacing between the trusses, uh, is that, uh, determined by the span or by the load or by the depth of the floor truss itself or all of those? It's all of those. Okay. So they had an option to go to an 18 inch, but then 18 inch deep, 18 inch deep versus okay. the 16, uh, 18 would have allowed a little wider stance, but then you wouldn't Spacing, have Spacing you mean between exactly between and that, okay. that transition into the hallway, there would have been a differential. Got so it. in order to get that nice uniform flowy feel, we opted to go with a, a higher truss. So do you see that normally where, so for instance, this house is designed for acoustics. So I don't know if you heard the train behind us, but hopefully when we're done with this project, we won't hear the train at all. So on this project, if we went uh, with a taller floor joist, we would have less spacing between the floor, or more spacing between the floor joists 
because the dimension of the floor joist itself is directly proportional to how strong it is. Yes, absolutely. And, but then it would suppress the height of the ceiling. Got it. And the owner just wanted to really benefit as much as he could from this higher ceiling in this space. Okay. Now I also noticed above that the webs or the cross members of these open web floor trusses are metal. And we know from experience that metal is a great conductor of energy. And we want to keep that out of the conditioned uh, envelope of the house because it'll allow heat to go in or out of the house depending on the season. But we're not worried about that here, why? In a passive house, you basically have a, a constant temperate area that doesn't fluctuate in any extremes. Uh, and especially we have open staircases. So there's, you're not trying to subject one area to a colder temperature and another area to hotter. So it, we have they, they a livable equalize. space up above us. Yes, uh, the great room is above. And so that, that movement of energy isn't as um, problematic as something to the exterior. Got it. So it's just because it's not to the outside that we could use these metal trusses without some kind of deleterious effect as, as far as energy efficiency. Yeah, and having to try and decouple them from something on the exterior. Okay, so then if this was like, say, a roof, is there a different option for us? We would, we would pivot to the TGIs that you were discussing earlier. Okay. Yeah, because then, then it's a mass of wood and we know how that performs okay. to the outside. Okay. Are there wood version, all wood versions of the open web floor trusses? There are, and they use a, a press clip Okay, um, but so then like you, a big truss. Exactly, okay, and, but you're adding uh, some volume of lumber so you lose the space for the ducting. Got but it. In the instance upstairs where we're not using a, a, a web truss and we're, we're not having to be concerned about running ducting in those spaces. Because we're not running it in the, in the envelope of the exterior envelope of the house. We're literally running the duct. All the duct is inside the floor system between floors. Correct. For the upstairs and downstairs, everything is in, in this mid layer. So that's going to be much more efficient than running it in a crawl space or in an uninsulated attic or even above the insulation in an attic or in exterior walls. Like we're keeping all of that. Very core centralized kind of how our body works. Well, I guess that makes sense. So if you're interested in learning more about how we build projects to be more energy efficient by the specific specification of specific materials, hit subscribe as we show you how to build a better way. The specification. We're at Jake's Passive House and we're talking, what are we talking? Uh, what are these called? Open web floor choice. <laughs> Okay. We're at Jake's house and we're talking about open web floor trusses and I don't know. I, I don't know. Open web floor, we're talking open web floor trusses. Doctor. Uh, but it's and, and we're talking open web but floor trusses and, and designing a house for ventilation. How about that? Okay. All right. Today we're at Jake's house and we're talking open web floor trusses and designing for ventilation. I'm Dave Edwards with Earthbound Homes. <laughs> Sorry, I did that on purpose. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm still Dave Edwards with Earthbound Homes, 